Let's welcome back to Midpoint. She is the managing editor of The Federalist, also an education research fellow at the Heartland Institute. Joy Pullman joins us again. Joy, seeing as we're going to talk about education now and the future of this country, uh, I do have to ask, uh, boy or girl, and what's his or her name? Well, the little fellow next to me is a boy, and I have an older boy and an older girl, too. Oh, okay. You've got, okay. You've got three in the house, so you've got a lot of reasons to talk about education here coming up in the future. <laughs> With regard to, With common, regard to common, common Core, Scott Walker says he wants it repealed. But i got to tell you, as you dig deeper into Common Core, there's a lot of educators who say it's the wrong thing to do. This is a disaster. Yet when you look at the pros, a lot of people say, wait a minute, the stands, standards are international. It decreases costs. What, what's the reality here from somebody like yourself who studies education? I'm having a hard time hearing you. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and, and talk about Governor Walker in relation to Common Core until okay, I hear a little do. bit better sound coming through. And I haven't shown anything on my end. Um, okay. But the, the governor, so Governor Walker has said that he wants Common Core repeal, but that was basically a mid, at a really pressure point in his campaign for re-election this time. And uh, then a few days later, he kind of walked back on that statement. And when he had the opportunity to repeal Common Core in Wisconsin, he didn't really put his weight behind it. He kind of said, oh, the legislature will do that. And then what he said he supported was this bill to have the state superintendent basically convene a panel of people to look at Common Core. And now the state, you, you have to understand in Wisconsin, the state superintendent actually signed Wisconsin into Common Core five months before Common Core was published. So he's been a Common Core I, hook, line, and sinker this whole time. So basically, uh, the Governor Walker's talks a big talk on Common Core, but he basically ain't walking anything. Um, and so I remain dubious about uh, what he says until he puts some action behind it that actually changes anything and gives kids a better education in Wisconsin. So having grown up there, I know something about the education system in Wisconsin. Basically, it's like, it's similar to Iowa. It's been resting on its laurels for a really long time. Um, well, basically, uh, the rest of the country has been moving ahead, and we've been moving into the 21st century economy where kids really need to uh, be accelerating, not just staying where they are. So Wisconsin, I mean, I've never been really impressed by the education system, um, either in our local public schools or statewide. So the governor has to do a lot more um, than just stick with the status quo and pretend like he's a real reformer. Joy, I'm going to see. Maybe, hopefully, you can hear me now. Joy, can you hear me now? I can hear you better. Okay, there we go. I got about a minute 30 left, so let me ask you the second part of that question. In your opinion, as someone who studies education, there are people who say the Common Core is good for this country. Others say it's a complete disaster. Where's the reality? Well, the reality is, I mean, I think you should just talk to a parent who has a child in public school right now because something like 60% of them think Common Core is a bad idea because they have firsthand experience with number one issue of theirs is the really bad math. It's kind of a return of the fuzzy math of the 1980s and the 1990s, it's just basically been repackaged. So I have a couple of major objections to it. The first one is that Common Core was passed basically in the dead of night with no citizen input by a bunch of private organizations. So I, I believe in a representative government and that's not the way we do things in America. Second of all though, the academic quality, that all the PR about Common Core says that it's the best thing since sliced bread, but all of the independent reviews of it say that at best, comparatively, it's really mediocre. So it is not internationally competitive, it's really kind of a uh, you know basic bar to get kids over, um, and that's really not what I want for my children. And I don't expect that most parents want that for theirs. That was going to um, be that was going to be my final question here for you. Education. I also, I'll let you go. It centralizes no. education away from parents. That was going to be my final question in your 20 seconds. You would not allow your children, or you would not be happy at all to have your children educated under a common core system then, correct? Uh, that's right. There you go. That pretty much says it all, and certainly we're going to have to watch this because uh, it'll be on Governor Scott Walker's desk, uh, maybe even President Scott Walker, if you will. Again, the article, Winning Re-Election Doesn't Mean Scott Walker is Ready for 2016. It is on The Federalist. Joy Pullman's our guest. Joy, we thank you so much, and please, time to get lunch for those kids. <laughs> thanks for putting up with me and with all of them. I appreciate it. There you go. All right, thanks, Joy. All right, short intermission, and we're back on Midpoint with the man who claims he is not a candidate for the presidency in 2016, but sure seems like it when he speaks to the gathered media and the potential voters. Mitt Romney is the guy who says, not me, not anytime soon. However, a lot of conservatives still wish that he would run. It's the Sunday showdown, what you missed from the Sunday talkers. It's all coming up right here on Midpoint, where every day we question everything, even of the youngsters.